Hello dear students, welcome to Corona Mass Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important questions which has been asked in Papson Examination Board 2075, province number 4. So dear students, this question is from Circle Our Theorem. In question number 24, the question is, in the given figure, O is the center of a circle O is the center of a circle if LM is called MQ if the side LM is equal to MQ then prove that PN is equal to NQ PN is equal to NQ and ON parallel to PQ and ON is parallel to PQ distance in the given figure it is given that in the given figure in the given figure we are given O as the center of the circle O is the center of the circle and LM is given equal to MQ number two LM is given equal to LM is given equal to MQ to prove Pn is equal to NQ. We have to prove Pn is equal to NQ. Pn is equal to NQ. And we have to prove On is parallel to On is parallel to PQ. So dear students, dear students, in order to show, in order to show Pn is equal to Pn is equal to NQ, we have to show the base angles equal. See if the base angles are equal, then the sides opposite to them are also equal. This means in a triangle, if base angles are equal, then it is an isolated triangle. And we can write the side opposite to equal angles also equal. So this means I have supposed different angles as A, B, C, D and E so that it will be easy to write and set the time. In the statement number one, Dear students, we are given that LM is equal to MQ. We are given LM is equal to MQ. So we can write A is equal to B. Angle A means MLQ and B I have supposed as angle MQL. Since two sides are equal, since LM is equal to given equal to MQ, so we can write A is equal to B. Dear students, now let us link angle a and B with the angle C. So if we can so angle B is called angle C, then easily we can write the side PN is equal to side NQ. Dear students, angle A is called angle C. We can write equal because angle A is subtended by the arc MN at the circumference of the circle and angle C is subtended by the arc MN at the circumference of the circle. So we can say angle subtended by same arc at the circumference of the circle are equal or we can say angles in the same segment of a circle are equal so this means angle a and angle c both are angles in the same segment of circle both are subtended by the same arc mn angle c that means angle mpn and angle a that means mln so let's write down a is equal to c in the second statement let's write down angle a is equal to c angles in the same segment angles in the same segment of a circle distance now in the statement number three we get b is equal to c we get b is equal to c if we combine statement number one and two in the statement number one and two the angles of lhs side they are equal a and A, they are same. So B is equal to C, we can write. So this is combining statement number 1 and 2. Dear students, now in the statement number 4, in the statement number 4, we can write, we have already got B is equal to C, B is equal to C. So we have got base angles of triangle P and Q equal. See, base angles are equal, then the sides opposite to them are also equal. So we can now write, Pn is equal to NQ. 
the angle opposite of PN is B and angle opposite of A and Q is C. Angle B and C are equal. So, dear students, if uh, angles, if any two angles of a triangle are equal, then the sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. Or we can say, if two angles are equal, then the triangle is an isosceles triangle, then the two sides of isosceles triangle are equal. So, let's write down PN is equal to NQ. Now, we can write PN is equal to NQ. We have got the first proof. We can write PN is equal to NQ. We can write the side PN is equal to NQ. This is from statement number 3. Sides opposite to equal angles. Sides opposite to equal angles. This means if any two angles of a triangle are equal, then the sides opposite to them are also equal. So from statement number 3, we have got PN is equal to NQ because we have shown angle B is equal to angle C. We have shown angle B is equal to angle C. So the sides opposite to them are also equal. This means, so already we have got the first proof that means PN is equal to NQ. Now let us show ON parallel to PQ. Now in order to show ON parallel to PQ, ON parallel to PQ, we'll show angle D is equal to E. This means if the alternate angles are equal, we'll take OM as the transversal. If we can show angle D is equal to angle E, then we can write PQ parallel to ON. We can write PQ parallel to ON or we can say ON parallel to PQ. So let's say angle D is equal to angle E, which are the alternate angles. So dear students, now to show angle D is equal to angle E, let's find the value of angle D. Angle D we can write two times of angle A because angle D is angle at the center which is, a stat, which is obtained by the arc amion and angle A is the angle at the circumference which is also obtained by the same arc. So by using the relation between angle at the center of circle and the corresponding circumference angle we can write D is equal to two times of A. So this means now in the statement number five in this statement number five we can write D is equal to 2A angle D is equal to we can write angle D is equal to D is equal to 2A angle at the center is twice of angle at the circumference standing on the same arc or we can say relation between central angle and its corresponding circumference angle angle at the center of a circle is twice of the angle at the circumference angle at the circumference of a circle standing on the same arc standing on the same arc so this is the relation between angle at the this is the relation between the angle at the center and the circumference angle standing on the same arc so this means we have got angle D is equal to 2A now let's show the relation of angle E with A. So this means if a angle B and angle C are the two interior angles of triangle PQN. So we can write angle N, we can write angle N, we can write angle N means angle L, L, N, P. Angle L, N, P, we can write equal to B plus C. So let's suppose this as angle F. So this means angle F means angle P N L. So F is equal to in this statement number 6 in this statement number 6 now we can write angle F is equal to we can write angle F is equal to B plus C. There is twins B and C both are equal and which is equal to the angle A. So we can replace angle B and C both by the angle A. So dear students, we can replace both the angle B and C, both the angle B and C by the angle A. So we can write A plus A. So this is 
extra angle of a triangle is equal to extra angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two sum of two opposite opposite interior angle sum of two opposite interior interior angles and in the statement number seven we can write b and c b and c both we can replace by a because c is equal with a so b will be also equal to a so b and c both we can replace by a so we have got a plus a that means 2a so it is from a statement number 2 3 and 6 so the reason is from a statement a statement 2 3 and 6 so this since we have got value of f is equal to 2a and already we have got in a statement number 5 d is equal to 2a that means now we can write d is equal to f because both are equal to angle 2a so let's combine the statement of 5 and 7 then we get d is equal to f so in the statement number 8 we can write d is equal to f so this is by combining a statement number so this is by combining statement number 5 and 7 so this is from a statement 5 and 7. So distance angle D is called angle F. In the statement number 8 we have got angle D is equal to angle D is equal to angle F. Distance we have got angle D is equal to angle F. Now we can write E is equal to F because they are angles in the same segment of a circle. Distance angle E and angle F both they are standing on the same RPL. So we can write E is equal to F. In this statement number 9, in this statement number 9, we can write in this statement number 9, we can write we can write E is equal to E is equal to F. Angles in the same segment of a circle. So the reason is angles of the same segment angles of the same segment of a circle segment of circle now distance in the statement number 10 now we can combine a statement number 8 and 9 in a statement number 8 we have got d is equal f and in the statement number 9 we have got e is equal f that means the rhs part of both the statement are same of any of their same so we can get d is equal to e so let's combine statement number eight and nine so by combining statement number eight and nine we get d is equal to e we get d is equal to e so let's look at the diagram we have got angle d is equal to we have got angle d is equal to angle e which was our target so this means if angle d and angle e are equal that means if the alternate angles are equal then if the alternate angles are equal, then we can say PQ is parallel to ON. So now we can write PQ parallel to ON or we can say ON parallel to PQ. So in the last statement, so distance, the reason of statement number 10 is from statement 8 and 9. So in the statement number 11, we can write ON is parallel to PQ. We can write ON. We can write ON parallel to PQ. This means we can write ON parallel to PQ. It is from a statement 10 being alternate angles equal. Being alternate alternate angles angles equal. So this is the proof. So this means by showing angle D and E equal, we can say PQ is parallel to ON or we can say ON is parallel to PQ because D and E are the alternate angles made by the two lines PQ and ON with the transversal ON. So after showing D is equal to e, we can say ON is parallel to PQ. So this is the proof of question number 224. This means before we end this video let us discuss the process we have followed to get the proof of Question number 24. 
so dear students at first we have to prove p n is equal to n q at first we have to prove p n is equal to n q so in order to show p n is equal to n q we have to show base angle is equal so at first we have taken angle a is equal to angle b because already two sides l m and m q are equal so dear students if two sides are equal then we can take base angle is equal so we have taken in a statement number one a is equal to b in this statement number one we have taken a is equal to b base angles of an isosceles triangle m l n or we can say the angles opposite to equal sides are equal dear students angle a and angle c they are angles in the same segment of a circle they are subtended by the same arc at the surface of the circle so we can write a is equal to c so by combining the two statement a is equal to b and a is equal to c we get b and c are equal that means we have got base angles of triangle p n q equals if base angles are equal then it is an isosceles triangle so we can say p n is equal to n q so this means we have got the first proof p n is equal to n q now in order to prove o n is parallel to p q we have to show angle d is equal to angle e so this students now we'll find the value of angle d and e so first let us find the value of angle d angle d is equal to 2a we can write because angle d and angle a both are subtended by the same arc so central angle is twice of surface angle so d is equal to we can write 2 times of a in a statement of 5 we have got d is equal to 2 times of a dear students now angle f let's find out the value of angle f because angles e and angle f are equal so angle f we can write b plus c extra angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two opposite interangles so f is equal to we can write b plus c f is equal to we can write b plus c and b and c both angles we can replace by angle a so by combining a statement two three and a statement number six we get the value of f is equal to a plus a b and c both replacing by angle a so we get value of f is equal to 2a so this is now we can combine statement 5 and 7 in 5 we have got d is equal to a and in 7 we have got f is equal to a that means we can write d is equal to f so this means we have got d is equal to f we have got d is equal to f we have got d is equal to f this means now e and f they are equal because they are angles in the same segment of a circle so e and f they are equal so in this statement number 10 we have written in this statement 9 we have written e is equal to f now we can combine statement number 8 and 9 d is equal to f and e is equal to f if we combine then we get d is equal to e d is equal to e from statement number 8 and 9 so d is equal to e we have shown angle d is equal to e which are the alternate angles made by the two lines with the transversal om so by showing d is equal to e we can write pq parallel to on so by showing d is equal to e we can write on parallel to pq which is the second proof of question number 24 so dear since i hope you have understood the solution of question number 24 which has been asked in Babson and se examination so thank you thanks for watching this video and if you have not subscribed our youtube channel called mass academy please subscribe it and also press the notification bell icon so that when the video is uploaded then you can easily get it dear students again we'll meet in the next video with a new content till then bye have a nice day